Hello and welcome to Ableton Live 9 Racks Explained. In this video series, we're going to dedicate all of our time to learning about Ableton Live's racks. This will include what they are, how to use them, why we would use them, and then how to build them. So first, let me explain a little bit about what these racks are and what they do. So first, let's jump into the browser. And under the Instruments category, I'm going to search for a factory preset called Sandman Dance. I'm going to double click on that to load it into the first track here. And now we can see we have an instrument rack loaded down in device view. So there are a couple different areas of the rack, and we'll get into that later. But overall, we have devices, and these devices are grouped. And you notice when I loaded that preset, all these devices came with it. And that's one of the really cool things about a rack is that once we have devices all lined up and set exactly how we want them, we can create a rack and save that as a preset. The next benefit of a rack is the ability to parallel process things. Right now on an instrument rack, we're parallel processing two different instruments. I can play this with a MIDI controller. And we can hear both layers. Here's layer one and layer two. So with one MIDI controller, we're triggering or playing both of those instruments. The next benefit of using a rack is the ability to manipulate different parameters deep within the rack. For example, I have a reverb, and I can change the dry-wet mix with a control at the top layer of the rack. So I don't need to look at this reverb. I can have these eight simple controls are called macro controls, and we'll get into those later. And these can control many parameters at once deep within that rack. So just to wrap up, we can use a rack to save multiple devices together as a preset, and we can parallel process devices together, and then control multiple parameters with one move with a macro control. And this is all happening on one track. So it's very, very powerful. It's very easy to save and recall huge collections of devices, and it's all contained within one simple to use interface. So that's a quick introduction to racks within Ableton Live. We're going to dive in and take a look at everything you need to know within the different types of racks. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.